Supply 55 presents Assembling the Banner Pro When getting your Banner Pro, you'll notice there are seven main components. The banner trough, the alignment fence, the base and foot pedal, the white stanchion post, the heating system head, the spring, and control linkage with turnbuckle adjustment. You will also notice that there is fastener hardware. Four bolts, lock washers, and nuts for attaching the heating system head to the stanchion post. Two bolts, fender washers, regular washers, and wing nuts for attaching the banner trough to the heating system head. And finally, two washers and wing nuts for attaching the alignment fence to the banner trough. So let's get started. First, we're going to insert the stanchion post into the socket of the base and foot pedal. Then, lay the front of this assembly on the floor to ensure a proper alignment. Now, while applying force on the stanchion post and base, tighten the set screw and pilot nut. Next, we're going to attach the head to the stanchion post using the four sets of bolts, lock washers, and nuts provided. Insert two bolts on each side of the heating head and lower them into the four holes provided on the stanchion post. Now screw on the lock washers and nuts and tighten them using a wrench. Once the heating system head is fastened to the stanchion post, open the heating system jaws. Each jaw has a heating element that is covered by Teflon sheath. We recommend that you temporarily remove each Teflon sheath in order to inspect both heating elements to make sure they are properly installed. You will notice that the terminals on each end of the heating system are exposed as they come from the factory. We recommend covering up these four terminals with scraps cut from the Teflon sheath. A quick and easy way to obtain these scraps is to use a box cutter knife to cut the sheath along the edge of the chrome binding clamp on the front of the top jaw. This makes a strip of sheath material about a half inch wide. Use the knife to cut four two and a half inch scraps from the strip. These scraps will be used later on. Now that the Teflon sheath has been removed, inspect your heating elements. You want to make sure that they are properly centered on their insulating pad, as shown in the picture. Once this is complete, we have to reinstall the Teflon sheath. Slide the sheath into the clamp until the leading edge hits the clamp screws, and then center the sheath left to right. Now, tighten the two middle clamping screws on the chrome binding clamp. Pull the Teflon tightly across the heating element and wind the Teflon back onto its supply rod and place the bundle into the clamps on the back side of the jaw. Now, Tighten the final two outside screws on the chrome binding clamp. You will notice that the clamping scheme in the bottom jaw is slightly different, however the concept is the same. We recommend that you inspect the heating element at the bottom jaw as well. Now, grab the two and a half inch scraps of Teflon that you had made earlier and slide them under the Teflon sheath to cover the four exposed terminals. Our next step is to install the return spring into the heating system head. Simply place the spring around the embossed area at the hole provided. Now for the control linkage and turnbuckle adjustment. Before installing, make sure the turnbuckle is adjusted properly. We have found that an overall length of 27.5 inches works best. Also, the position of the hook in comparison to the base crossbar is important. If you were to look at it as a clock, the crossbar at the bottom should be at 3 and 9 o'clock position, while the hook at the top should be at a 7 o'clock position. Now that you have your control linkage with turnbuckle adjustment set up, insert it into the assembly from underneath the heating system head. Now, close the top jaw and insert the hook into the top jaw's own control linkage. Then, attach the bottom crossbar of the control linkage to the foot pedal as seen in the picture. The assembly should now appear as shown. Now, let's look at attaching the banner trough to the heating system head. Grab the two bolts for the banner trough and insert them into the two holes in the front of the lower jaw of the heating head. You will notice that the trough has two slots in the back side that will be used to attach it to the heating system head. Slide these slots onto the two bolts and use the two fender washers, regular washers, and wing nuts to secure the banner to the heating head. Finally, on the underside of the alignment fence you will notice two bolt studs. These are to be inserted into the two slots on the top side of the banner trough.
Using the remaining washers and wing nuts, fasten the alignment fence to the banner trough. And there you have it, a perfectly assembled Banner Pro. For more information on the Banner Pro, please visit www.supply55.com.